What does activism mean? That's what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about what does it mean to be an, a, a, an activist or an advocate for a cause. And the first thing that comes to my mind is somebody standing on the corner that's got a sign saying, you know, honk if you agree, <laughs> you know. Um, kind of like they're at war with somebody or something over the issue. And I have a hard time struggling with that thing, war, because everything seems to be a war. We're at war against drugs. We're at war against the president. We're at war against, name it, everything is a war. But rather than it being a war, how about it be a passionate mission to share a message? That's what I do here at the LWN Foundation. And I share my experiences, the strength, and my hope. And this broadcast is take two. Because <laughs> I just went on my live streaming platform and it did not work very well. So because I'm determined, I just didn't let that stop me from making sure that I got out there and did a message where it wasn't getting blurred. It wasn't getting, you know, you couldn't understand me. The, the banners were taking forever and, you know, it was silly. It was, it, 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 honestly, this is a message not as well about standing up for what you believe, because when you believe that you have a message that you want to share, you do whatever it takes to do that message. Now, I'm not talking about terrorist acts here, okay? We could do this in a peaceful manner. That's what it's about. It's about sharing your message in a peaceful manner. Now, I, I did make some notes, and, and I want to make sure that I hit on this stuff, okay? To be a good activist, you're going to have to educate yourself you're going to have to engage social media and use it. That's why I'm doing this again. Because I am going to use social media to get my message. My message is hope. My message is about helping the homeless. It's about helping uh, the people that have mental diagnosis, mental health diagnosis. It's about helping the needy. It's about opening a shelter, a place where people can go and uh, get a hand up and get the opportunity to get their life back. Because I, through my choices, lost everything that I had. That was my creation. I never expected, never considered that I would be homeless, but I made it happen. <laughs> and I'm not mad about it. I'm not angry about it. I don't hate myself for it because I forgave myself. You know what? That was an experience I'll never forget that changed the way I do things. Led to the point that I'm standing here in front of you sharing about activism, taking a stand for the things that you believe in. Having passion means taking action because a thought is just a thought until we take action upon that thought. Otherwise the thought will go away. Yes, thoughts can, just simple thoughts can manifest stuff. So therefore, I need to be careful about my thinking. I need to do it in a positive manner. That's why I've been talking about routines. That's why everything that I'm hearing um, is about routines lately, <laughs> you know, and healthy routines. Things that are going to help us to be able to achieve our dreams and our goals. And so we have to start by taking care of ourselves. But there are other things. You want to surround yourself with the people that you want to be like, right? The like-minded people. Now, my big deal, obviously, is nature. Nature is healing. Through nature, I get centered. And it is proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that nature is healing. So, yeah, get out into nature. Take some time for yourself. Go down to the park. Just take a walk. If you've got a dog, go take the dog for a walk. You know? This is an opportunity to connect to nature, to connect to source, to connect to the community. And I appreciate everybody that's taking time to come and join me. And those that suffered through that last broadcast. 
you know, oh gosh darn it anyways so you know because it's so important to me now boom to the top of my list which is all was already there get a new computer that will handle this stuff <laughs> that's what i have to do now i just have to be able to afford it because <laughs> i've got a lot of other things i got to do but that's okay i'll work towards that goal but i want to talk about activism from the aspect of nature from an environmental standpoint from overcoming the stigma of uh, homelessness or mental health diagnoses and these people that create a stereotype and say well they're disabled they're not they're not very smart they don't think well something's wrong with them well nothing is wrong with any of us okay we are who we are and what we can do is that we can learn to adapt to our life situation to achieve greatness within whatever so-called limitations society may put on us. People, people like Adam Chilton, who have dyspraxia. People th that don't fit the box. People like Richard Fay, who is autistic. People like Christopher Kaysen, who is autistic. The, they get on social media and share a message with them. That's something that the average autistic person would not do. Okay, so that clearly shows that, uh, are they handicapped? No. <laughs> Am I handicapped? Because I, 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 I certainly dealt with a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of frustration, because I had to sit there for 15 minutes for my computer to reboot back up to try and do that broadcast through the streaming platform so that I could stream to five locations at one time. It didn't work out too well, but that's okay. Keep on going. When you have something that's important that people need to know about, I want you to do something about it. Take a stand and make it happen, okay? Because together, we have strength, all right? So the principles, too, because as I lo grow and learn, I am an activist for things like, you know, domestic violence and um, uh, I'm an, uh, about suicide, particularly, you know, suicide awareness. Oh, my goodness. So many people are just so dissatisfied with their life that they want to take their own lives. And I was there. And so I can speak. I speak from experience. It sucks. But you know what? You can, be, it, you can change it. You can change it. But it takes a lot of work. And it takes consistency. It takes doing the affirmations just like we do on Mondays. Affirmation Mondays. Empowerment Tuesdays, empower yourself to do it. Take that action step. Health and wellness on Wednesdays. Do something to take care of yourself. To, you know, eat a good diet. Get the sleep that you need. Take time for yourself. Do meditation. Do affirmations. Thankful Thursday, having gratitude for the things that we, that we enjoy, that we're experiencing in our life. And every situation can be an opportunity to enjoy. That's what we're here, Love Friday. Love every day. Don't just make it Fridays. Make it every single day of your life. And I start it with gratitude, and that sets the stage for having a productive, successful, uh, good outlook on my day. I'm going to be posting up a blog about routines. Routines are critically important. I'm going to share my routine that I do with you all, you know? Um, Having a healthy routine is going to make a difference, okay? So remember that we want to surround ourselves with people that we uh, are like-minded, okay? Let me just back up here. Uh, volunteer. Volunteer to help that organization that's trying to get that message out. That's how you can help. That's how you can be an activist. And as I, like I said, I was trying to say, as I grow, I, I will be that advocate too. I will speak on the people that I represent their behalf if it takes going to washington to try and change legislation then that's what i'll do but i'm going to start by at least giving them a place they don't have to pay for and giving them the opportunity to get their life back together and getting the med medical needs met getting uh educational information having a place to sleep instead of under a tree things like that and not having to charge them so they have to go out and rob or steal or hold the sign to try and get some money to be able to pay for you know a roof over their head. Yes, does it take money? It takes money. 
to do anything in life unless you just don't mind living out in the woods. And I'll promise you, I know a bunch of them that said, I like being homeless. <laughs> And had been homeless for over a decade, over 10 years, some of these people. I love it. Well, to a great degree, what I also saw there was uh, complacency. Well, certainly acceptance of their situation, but then giving up on the fact, oh, I'm never going to be able to do it. Because it's not easy to get back on your feet when you end up out homeless. Okay? It takes a lot of work. Especially if you don't have an address. Hard to get a job when you don't have an address. So that's another thing that we'll do with the shelter. They have a place that they can get their mail. You know? A place that they can call a temporary home. But home is always where that heart is. Okay? And so, yes, I'll be an advocate for them. I'll stand up for them. Um, I surround myself with the people I need to be like. I'm not giving up. That's why I came back on here a second time. Now, this particular broadcast is a little bit out of my norm because normally I have a quiet time and a meditation opportunity, but we ran behind this morning. But that's okay. I've got to, I, see, now I've got to get ready for my job, my day job. And I've got a heck of a drive, too. <laughs> so um, I'm not giving up. I don't want you to give up. I want you to be the best person you can be. I want you to be able to say, this needs the awareness raised. When we take other people's lives seriously, we can make a positive impact in those people's lives. The people that are not happy with their life can then have somebody that at least that they know loves them, cares about them, wants to make a difference in their life. And that's what I'm going to do. And that's what I ask you to do. Put a smile on somebody's face. Just say hi today, okay? Love the fact that you're alive, that you're able to even watch this video. Thank you so very much. I appreciate everybody taking time. This is the LWN Foundation Sunrise Daybreakers, and you are the tribe, and I am so grateful for you. I will say a prayer. I recommend to do affirmations. I'm just going to sort of skip that right now because I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the uh, prayer. Then I'm going to shout out the viewers that are watching uh, because I love you and I acknowledge you, and I want to share some of your comments that you might have. Um, dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for the experience there of just recognizing, boy, I need to do something from the standpoint of being able to get my message out there in a reliable fashion. Lord, help me and help everybody to be able to nurture the seeds of greatness that we have within us, to be able to grow and to, to, to nurture them with love and care and to be able to overcome the obstacles that we've faced, to release the self-limiting thinking, to release the self-hatred and the self-loathing and to get to our point where we're able to be the best person we can possibly be. Allow us to be able to take action on our intentions and to be able to uh, back those up with affirmation statements and the I am statements that I can and I will. Be with us. Keep us safe. Bless those that are suffering, particularly the ones that are suffering down from the fire. People that might be suffering from health issues or depression or the fact that they just don't like themselves. Help us to be able to recognize that there is light in dark places, that we might have to experience those dark times, but that we can come out of that stronger and better. And that we can pursue our purpose in life and be passionate about the things that we love and to, to enjoy life to its maximum capacity and to help serve by helping others. I release these words to the universe. The universe supports me in these truths. And I say, in Jesus' name, I say, Amen. I say, Namaste. I say, Namaskar. I say, Jesus, because He is my Savior. Saved me from the depths of hell here on earth. <laughs> is my role model. 
The more I'm like him, the more I get centered, and the more I have acceptance of my situation for exactly what it is. Instead of blaming other people, my life gets good. It gets better. It gets better every day. I want your life to be great. If your life is great already, excellent day. But you know what? Just reinforce what you got good going on. Be grateful for it, right? We got to remember to be grateful. That's, that's such an important factor. It really is. So, yes, thanks. Right, it is Valentine's Day. <laughs> In fact, it's a beautiful day here. I love the fog, by the way. It's pretty cool. So, um, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Um, I see that there are several viewers. Sandy, thank you for joining us this morning. I appreciate you. Um, Virgie Pelasoris. Sandy's down in Australia. Virgie's in um, the Philippines. VJ is in India. I think I've got that right. Adam Chelton from the UK. And yeah, thanks uh, VJ for telling me that. Now it's better. Yeah, I know. Uh, that last one, it, it didn't go over so well, but that's okay. That was a learning lesson for me. I didn't let it stop me. Um, Adam Chelton is an activist. He's also a first aid mental health responder, a person that is being an activist, overcoming dyspraxia, being there to help other people. That's what this is about. Nature, VJ says, right saying about nature's love and peacefulness. It is, it creates gratitude, which creates happiness. To enjoy the beauty of the universe that we have surrounding ourselves, listening to these birds in the morning, it's just wonderful, I love it. See that my camera's maybe a little bit crooked. Okay, whatever. So Adam tells us that he's passionate about teaching his kids that bullies will grow up to be nothing and that the bigger person will walk away from the bullies. And it is hard to do that. It's, that's a lesson that I've had to learn because I've stood up to some of these bullies and I paid for it. I did, you know. Not exactly the good choice. Walk away from the confrontation is the bigger man, the better man. Thank you, Sandy. I appreciate you. Janie Starliper, thank you so very much. I really appreciate you and happy, special, happy, happy Valentine's Day to Janie. I want to say happy Valentine's Day again to everybody. Um, thank you so very much. You know, let's have a great day. I hope that you're going to have maybe a special time tonight. If you're not, um, you know, just know that you are loved. Thanks for being part of the Sunrise Daybreakers tribe. Thanks for joining me this morning. Um, let's just have a great day. It is Friday. Yeah, the fogginess. <laughs> I love the fogginess. It is so cool. It won't last for real long, but it is really cool. A bit of a hazard maybe to drive in sometimes when it's right at ground level. So be careful if that's what's going on for you. But let's have a great day. Let's have a great weekend. Recognize that if you love something and you have passion to do something about it, take action to volunteer and help that foundation or that organization that is trying to get the message out that you believe in. This is Stephen Smith. Coming to you from Sarasota, Florida. I want you to have a great day. I will be back. I'm probably going to do something different this weekend. It's about time to do something different. And so I'm planning on that. Look for a live video somewhere, somehow. I've got some great ideas. I'm going to work on doing that. Um, in the meantime, have a blessed day. Enjoy yourself. God bless you. And we'll see you soon.